Guys, how you guys doing? I'm here with some vegan products today, and I wanted to explain in, in, in definitive detail why you should go vegan and, and why the whole damn thing and what's going on. All right, and here's a list of products I have here. I have dead cheese here. I have, you know, provolone, uh, dairy-free uh, slices. They're, they're a cheese alternative, of course. And I have many others here as well. And before I get started on showing you which ones I got or whatever, you know, so you guys can actually see for yourselves, I wanted to take the time to tell you why go go vegan and all this and that. See, one thing I, I sometimes um, I don't like is, is 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 labels and stuff like that. But what what it really is is going back to nature and dealing with foods that come from nature, foods that are dealing with nature-based or electrical foods. For example, dead cheese right here. This stuff is made by made with herbs and plants and stuff like that. They found a way to convert the plants into a cheese-like substance. Do you understand? So when you take in this cheese, what it may taste like cheese, it may feel like cheese, it may have the same texture as cheese. It may be able to do the same things as all the cheeses out there, but when you take it in your body, the effects will be different because it's plant-based. So what does that mean? It means that it's natural. It comes from nature. Understand? In order to have a high vibrational electromagnetic field around your body or an aura field, I spoke about this in many of my videos. Look it up. Magnetic fields, auras and stuff like that. I have videos on this, guys. You guys have to watch these videos. You guys are always asking me for questions, right? And a lot of the questions that you guys have, I've already made videos on this stuff. Like search up how to write uh, archons. Uh, evil Archons, how to uh, raise your vibrational frequency. Search up that video. I had a headset on and I was talking about it and stuff like that. The this, this screen has like a, like a blue like uh, planetary uh, thumbnail. Now, when we, when we like, I'm, I'm telling you guys to like, instead of drinking coffee in the morning, drink a green based juice. A juice with all kinds of greens in it, carrots and stuff like that. Uh, get carrots and, and chop it up in a blender or whatever, and and, and put some uh, put some uh, brown sugar in there. Uh, uh, make it taste good, you know. I'll, I'll put it in the freezer or whatever. Carrot juice is awesome. It's great for your health. I'm only here trying to tell you guys that there's other alternatives. You don't have to just eat vegetables all day. You can also mix things up. This stuff was a lot. Uh, it was 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 a lot of stuff that I got, but in the long run, it'll be good for me. Now, check this out, guys. Okay, so this is the cheese right here, the one I was talking about. And uh, okay, let's take let's take a look, guys. Come on, let's take a look. So, what do we have here? This is Daya cheese. It's a plant-based cheese alternative, right? <sighs> this is so delicious mozzarella cheese. It's is you see 100% dairy-free and soy-free. See, I'm trying to tell you guys. There's, there's alternatives you guys can get that doesn't have soy in them. Look, look at this. Provolone style slices, dairy free. No GMO, no soy. Look at this. You can get ramen noodles that don't have any soy content in the, in, in, in the ingredients. I, may, I, 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 took, I take the time to look because you guys have to understand. Soy and this tofu shit is actually humans. I will be getting on that very soon. And I want you guys to know that the corporations, the FDA, all these other motherfuckers, they, they're, not they're not taking the time to tell the public about what's going on with the foods consumed. What I'm trying to tell you is that there's not enough farms in the United States to be giving out all this meat. So the meat has to be coming from an ulterior, an ulterior source. Okay? Okay? You guys can believe me or not. That's not my. That's not. That's not what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is you having an understanding that there are other alternatives, and you don't have to choose blood and flesh over something that can taste just as good and is healthier for you, and it's plant-based and it's not actually meat, like Beyond Meat. These are these are veggie, veggie patties, basically. These are plant-based patties. No soy. See. No gluten, no GMO free. Genetically modified food, genetically engineered. You don't want that stuff. This is why it's free of that stuff. Look, field roast, frankfurters, these things taste amazing, okay? Look at the ingredients, man. I'm telling you, look at this. These are, these are, um, these are for, for breakfast. Apple, a, apple maple, man, damn, these taste amazing. These go so well with, uh, 
Uh, uh, wait, you, you guys were gonna say probably like eggs, right? Let me let me give you guys an alternative for eggs, okay? I'm gonna give you guys an alternative for eggs. This is an alternative for eggs. You can also get a, a veggie egg or whatever. And um, I got this stuff at Whole Foods. And uh, all you gotta do is add water and stir it up, and then it turns into like a scrambled eggs or whatever. Um, it's good for baking and sauces and stuff like that. I haven't really tried it out yet. I'm gonna try it out soon though. Right here. Uh, um, oh, what about my cream cheese, fellas? Oh, Kite Hill. We can also get this stuff at, at Whole Foods. And this is a cream cheese style spread. It's a plain um, um, cream cheese style spread. Uh, I made sure to look at the ingredients. Uh, there's there's no there's no um, no dairy. There's nothing no, there's nothing bad inside the stuff. You got uh, one of my favorites, uh, veganese grape seed oil. It's really good of mayonnaise, but this is uh, it's better than mayonnaise. It even says it on the label, better than mayonnaise. Uh, it's GM, it's non-GMO. It's a, um, the, the reason why it's so big is a for celebration for 40 years of veganese since 1977. It's extremely good. Goes good with everything. I bought the grape seed oil version because this is my favorite. We have Beyond Meat uh, once again, and these are for like um, tacos and stuff like that. And I made sure soy free, soy free. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, GMO free, no cholesterol. You know, and of course this is Avion water. You guys can get Essentia, which is a 9.5 pH. You guys can get uh, Core water. Uh, if need be, uh, you guys could get uh, Arrowhead. You guys can get the, uh, uh, there's there's just pl there's plenty more guys. Um, uh, I can't think of the top of my head right now. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Eternal water. I bought an entire 30 pack of waters, and also I bought a four gallon jug and I put water and lime in it. I put some I put some filtered water in it. But I put some limes inside the, the, the jug and it alkalized the water. See, see the water um, uh, took in all that lime juice and it cleaned it up. Lime is, is, is an anti-agent, guys. So, you know, I have the four-gallon jug. I might show it to you guys soon. Or, or why, why go through the struggle? Just search up four four-gallon jug or three-gallon jug. Fill it up with water. And then, uh, yeah, you know. Um, let, me, um, let me explain some things. Ah. So, so now what we understand is this, is that um, in order to keep, stay alkaline, you need to be putting nature inside of your body. If you start putting things that is like blood, flesh, things of this nature inside of your body, your body's going to have a negative response. This is where your, your, all your diseases come from. And I'm not telling you guys, oh, go, oh, go, 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 go be vegans and all this and that, like people taking it. To another extreme, like I'm saying, there's an alternative. You choose what you want to do. I'm not here trying to force you to do a damn thing. I'm just a cool dude that you may know now, for, for, as for a little while now, and I'm just trying to give you alternatives. What's wrong with that? It's up to you to choose to get the alternatives or not. I got all this stuff at Whole Foods, guys. Um... You know, um, like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy here. And, uh, you know, stay away from the soy. That is humans. Okay. Um, okay, I'll tell you a little bit about the soy. See, at first, soy was actually soybeans. But see, the soybeans, y'all yeah, don't understand, but they're genetically modifying these soybeans. Soybeans is not natural. They're, they're not natural. Like, the soybeans... Is it actually being genetically engineered with human parts? You, okay, you see all those uh, pictures that is always popping up on the milk carton and all this stuff, and the people getting missing, and people, uh, homeless people that, that dying, people being uh, just abducted and shit like that? Where do you think these people go after they finish killing them? They go to the meat grinder. I'm so serious. What's the easiest way to get rid of a body? To turn them into a food product. Can you believe that? Also, another thing. The soy... Is affecting people's um, estrogen and testosterone levels. It's making men become more. I don't know how to say flamboyant. Um, it's turning men. It's making men act more gay now. It's making women act more like gay as well. Like what I'm saying is, it's turning 
heterosexual people into having homosexual tendencies. And and, and, and and the foods that we consume, a lot of these GMO foods, the reason why it's genetically modified is to damage you up. It's not just to make um, give you homosexual tendencies as well. It's to also make your body sick, give you cancer, give you all this. The FDA and Monsanto, which is the motherfucking demon that keeps fucking making you people eat all this bad food out here. I was just having a conversation with some woman at Whole Foods at the, at the register. She said, oh, man, you're buying all the stuff that I like. I said, of course, you got to get that vegan stuff. And I, I told her, and, and she was like, yeah, you know, like, this, this shit is getting crazy, you know. People, people eating, consuming foods, they don't even know what the hell they're eating. I'm like, between you and me, all this meat that's out here that most people's eating out here, it's, it's fucking humans. She said, of course. You see? Even she knows. Something is wrong with our government, guys. Like, they don't even want us to have a clean temple. See, you need to govern your temple. How you think you're going to climb up from your root chakra up and up from your sacral chakra to your splenic chakra to your to your uh, you know your heart chakra your your, your fucking uh, throat chakra your, your you know uh, your, your, how are you gonna climb up if you're eating foods that keep you weighed down? See, that's my point right there. What we eat, foods consume, affects how our body functions. We all have a blueprint for our body, and if we don't look at the blueprint, which is the pH levels, we're going to screw up. Instead of drinking coffee, which is something that's extremely acidic, like meat and stuff like that, yes, believe it or not, take a green drink. Get Make a green drink at home. I have to buy some greens to start um, putting it in the blender and all that. Let me make smoothies and stuff like that. That's why I bought thing over there. But you, you know, guys, you guys have to get healthy and you guys have to make, start making healthier choices. Okay? Uh, yeah, don't get mad at me. Okay? <laughs> Alright? I'm trying to help you out. You understand what I'm saying? And... You know, you know, I bought a whisk for this thing because I'm gonna be making smoothies and stuff like that. But I mean, I, I know what I know, and I've had people tell me straight up, the Archon minions—they can touch you when you guys are eating uh, flesh and all this other stuff. Um, hey, man, you can take it how you want to take it. You know, I, you seriously, I don't care. And the reason why is because I tried to help you, all right? I'm not the bad guy. I am not the bad guy. I'm trying to tell you something. We live in a world split in dimensions. And in some of these dimensions are beings that may or may not have your interests in mind. So with that being said, look at the rest of my videos. Don't just keep, don't just watch the brand new videos that I make. What sense does that make, guys? You guys have to, if you guys are going to really get into what I'm telling you guys, watch all the videos that came in the past before you became a subscriber. See, because if you do that, you'll have a greater understanding of what I'm trying to tell you. Or not, or choose not to. It's up to you guys. I respect your decisions. I respect your decisions. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, the, the soy is humans. The tofu is humans. The meat out here, most of it is not coming from animals. It's humans. And even if it comes from an animal, it's still not for human consumption. Okay? All right? All right, guys? I, I, I want to tell you the truth, but, you know, it's up to you guys to, to take it all in. Um, you know, start working out, guys. Apply the science. Uh, I'm going to be I'm, I'm posting up workout videos very soon and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and I'm going to also be trying to explain to you guys secret meditations and stuff like that. And if I'm going to do that, you guys need to start watching the videos I, I talk about meditation, how to meditate, what to do, your pineal gland, dealing with all this stuff. And don't just watch my videos. Watch other people's videos like like, like uh, the, uh, the 13th Sun, uh, RFG, Chosen One, um, uh, uh, a, a Joe Gaskin Jr. A, a, anybody, anybody, and anybody that's trying to put this stuff out here. Uh, Rich Twenty One Fifty X. I really recommend him. Um, you know, but leaving that aside, guys. You know, um, you know, really, seriously, take the time to find out what, why, why they're not telling us about these foods. Why they don't want us to know what's good for us. Oh, vegan food is more expensive. <laughs> Aye, boy. Keep thinking like that. Keep thinking like that. That's part of the reason why they want the food to be expensive. Because they think you will not realize what the hell you're eating. 
Did you know the other day I was reading an article about McDonald's and how they found a human hand in a sandwich? What the fuck was a human hand doing in a sandwich? They even found some, some shit filled with rats and stuff like that. Come on, guys. Why does they keep popping up? Most of these restaurants out here, be careful, guys. They're using the power of 13 against you guys. Against your 13 vibrations. They're using the power of your 13 chakras against you guys, guys. Most of these places, these fast food chains, is no good. Garbage. If, if you're still going to Burger King, you're still going to McDonald's, you're still going to Wendy's, you're still going to these uh, fast food joints, and you're not, you know, you're not going to like a, a place that's gonna actually have electrical food. <laughs> I don't even know why you're still here. This channel was made to to tell you guys the truth, but it's up to you to take it. And I respect your decision. You want to keep eating meats? That's on you, brother or sister. That's on you, and I, I'm not gonna judge you. But what I am saying is this. If you now learned a little bit of the truth, uh, why stay blind to it? That's all. So I'm just posing a question. That's all. You know, I ain't attacking nobody. I don't want nobody to feel bad. It's very difficult to let go of meat, especially because of the flavor and how it tastes. I understand, guys. I used to eat meat, too, at one point in my life. Hey, I'm not perfect, man, so please don't come here with that, all right? I'm just telling you something human to human being. Interfacing with a hu another human being, okay? Take the time to look at the foods that you guys have. One more, uh, more, one more last look. I know I'm going to eat good tonight. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you like the haul foods that I got here. I made two or three or four videos like this uh, before in the past. I just wanted to make another one to, you know, tell you guys a little something something. Get alkaline based water. It needs to be at a 7 pH and higher. If it's not a 7 pH and higher, then it's no good. This is where you get your holy 7 and your unholy 6. Yes, guys. But with that being said, peace and uh, love goes out to all of you who are actually trying to um, uh, comment, uh, watch my videos and all that, and to those that are not as well. Um, I, I extend love to all of you. And... Um, uh, just uh, be on the lookout for my next video, guys. Uh, no judgment here. Just um, a haul of foods to try to, try to explain uh, what I be dealing with and um, what kind of foods I take in and stuff like that. All right, guys. Peace out. And uh, look out for my next video. Peace out, guys. Goodbye.